Hey everybody, Robbie here. Just wanted to introduce you to our good friend Thomas. He actually used to be Brian and Andrew's neighbor, but he moved out to the West Coast in California. He's gonna be doing videos with us now, and we're actually looking to do a video where all of us were gonna to go together to Yosemite. But until then, he's got this video, and uh, there's more to come, and I uh, hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. One of the things I miss most about being away from home is the time I spent hiking with my friends. We all grew up going on these small adventures, and as we got older, our adventures became a bit more adventurous, I guess. After moving away from Ohio to Los Angeles, I was most afraid that I wouldn't be able to hear the wind through the trees or the birds chirp again. Even in the second largest city in America, you can still find the time and space to hear a little silence now and then. Today I check out Pico Canyon in Santa Clarita, California. Nestled away in the Santa Susana Mountains, Pico Canyon stands as a remnant of land that was once used as an oil well. Now the space is open to visitors who want to get away for a bit. This place is a mountain biker's paradise with fast roads that run up and down the ridges of the mountains. Personally, I'm a bit simpler. Walking quietly on a trail, taking in the views and sounds is enough for me. As someone who's not from these parts, I think the scenery is truly stunning. I had reached the end of the trail and so I decided to turn around and head back to the way I came. I soon found a suitable trailhead and began walking, until something got in my way. So I was just at the Johnson Park trailhead, and I was starting the trail, and I looked down and I see a rattlesnake. You can tell that it's a rattlesnake because it has a diamond head and usually it'll rattle at you. This one didn't though, and so uh, it's a little unnerving to uh, you know to be walking, looking down. It's like holy crap, there's a rattlesnake right there. Now, uh, you know the smart thing to do is usually turn around and walk the other way. And I think this time I'm going to be smart and walk away. Regardless of the species of rattlesnake, extreme caution should always be used. One bite from a venomous snake like that can be life-ending although some snakes are far more venomous and aggressive. On my way back, I decided to climb a mountain, because why not? Well, here I am. I'm uh, almost on top of a mountain, but it, would, it wouldn't let me get any higher than this. You can see there's a, there's a fence behind me there. Ah, not quite on top of the world, but getting there, definitely getting there. It wasn't as epic of a trip as my friends on the other side of the country have been having, but it was an adventure nonetheless. You don't need to be an experienced woodsman to have an adventure. 
Sometimes all it takes is just a little momentum to get you going. Hopefully soon my friends will be able to have an adventure on this side of the country. But until then, I think I'll just keep enjoying my weekend walks.